All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining us. I got sidekick here, and I got sidekick number two, and the German Shepherd over there. I think they're interested in snacks or something. We got the Kids Robotics uh, 3M or 4M Spider Robot. We're going to take it out of the box here. We're going to check out some pieces and parts and uh, see how difficult this thing is to put together. The box says that it is four ages over eight. Uh, sidekick here, he's four, and the other one, he's he's two. Uh, this is obviously too old for him, but I'm gonna help him out. I'm gonna help uh, Sidekick out here, and we're gonna get this thing together, and we'll see what it does. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see what we got. All right, we have all the components out of the box here. I got somebody in the background throwing a fit, so I'm gonna try to make this as as uh, clear and uh, precise as I can. So it looks like we've got a small variety of components here. Some of the pieces are kind of small, so I can see an age limit on this. Like I said, Sidekick's four, so we're gonna try to uh, get this thing together. I'm gonna help him out, and he loves robots, don't you? So let's get this thing together and see what all the hubbub's about. It looks like I'm looking. All right, so we need two AAA batteries and a small Phillips screwdriver. So let me get that and we're gonna get started. Guy. Yeah. Okay. So as we get the assembly started here, it looks like, according to the instructions, that most of the pieces are going to slide into place, or they may snap into place, depending on what it is. But the major assemblies that you're going to have to be doing is with screws. So that's the reason for the small screwdriver. These screws are very tiny, so I don't want to drop that one. But there it is. So let's get to work on this. All right, so these tiny little screws in this piece, I will say they are <clears throat> extremely, they are threaded in there extremely tight. It, you have to apply a little bit of pressure, which is surprising, because usually when you're dealing with a screw this small, like a battery cover on a kid's toy or something, you don't have to apply that much pressure, but you really gotta put some pressure down on these to get them to turn and for them to seat properly. Of course, we don't have, wanna have any accidents with this thing falling apart in action, so we wanna make sure we Take these steps very carefully. Make sure that everything fits properly and all that sort of thing. I think we dropped something, Eli. Did something fall on the floor? One thing I would suggest if you're tackling this project is a good organized work area. There's quite a variety of parts and pieces in this project. Not as bad as some 4M kits that we've tried, but a good uh, key to success here is to keep your like parts with like parts. Keep your small pieces away from rolling off the table and that sort of thing. Incline person or into Lego toys or projects like that. That's really going to help you out in this. So just keep everything organized and you should be good to go.
All right, so I guess this little box at the bottom is the counterbalance. It wants you to put some quarters in there. So I got, I got a, I'm not gonna fill that whole thing up unless it just doesn't operate properly. I've got three quarters in here. I think that's enough. It also says to tie off the other end of the string after you thread it through that hole in the middle, but I'm not gonna do that either. I'm just gonna tape it off or something. So let's try it. And okay, so I would call this a pretty successful little project for a rainy day. Maybe a science project. Uh, sidekick here is very interesting in real life. It works out pretty well. This is the issue we keep having. For some reason, this little piece right here and the one on the bottom is supposed to hit these. The counterweight at the bottom and the one at the top. And then when it hits it, it reverses direction. The mechanism reverses direction and it climbs back up. So we're going to tinker around with this a little bit and see if we can figure it out. If I just physically push it and then pull it up a little bit, I'll take her around with it. See what we can figure out. 